Thanks, Yasser. Here with the 2024 American Cup champion, Levon Ronian. Levon, congratulations. Thank you so much. Very well done. Um, this last rapid game was very exciting, uh, Levon. Clearly, uh, you prepared something sharp for this game? Yes. Uh, well, I generally like to look at some uh, openings that don't really work. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something I learned from Fabi, so <laughs> <laughs> it's always exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, could you take us through a couple moments in this game? Sure. Uh, I'm, of course, very curious how deep was your preparation and, um, uh, yeah, just some of your well, thoughts this, on the Well, this is uh, kind of a, the, the starting position of the whole line. White, of course, has options to play bishop d3, and then I think you need to play f5. Uh, the point being that after white takes on c3, black goes d5. And uh, knight f3, black can play d4, and d4 is not hanging because there is a pin with the rook. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah white take, loses take, the piece, bishop b5, and then take on d4 and rook b8. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, it's basically holding on because of this chippo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it's. Don't try it at home. I mean, <laughs> it's one of those lines. Uh, <laughs> Can I ask a little bit about the strategy? Because, of course, if you play something solid, you draw this game, you go to the Blitz playoff. Did you mm -hmm. want to just kind of decide things in this game? No, I just thought uh, I've been playing uh, adventurous chess here mm -hmm. and it brought me success, so I should stick to my guns. Okay, cool. Um, what, is your, what are your feelings on later in the game? Yeah, so here... Uh, yeah, I felt this is this definitely is okay for me. Bishop e three, knight d seven. Uh, yeah, bishop d seven surprised me. I thought, sorry, bishop a four is the move. Mm -hmm. And here I saw bishop b five, but I really underestimated it. But bishop b five, bishop d three, now in the aftermath looks <laughs> tremendously strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably black is winning on the spot. So I saw this. I just thought that, you know, strategically, this can never be worse for black. I'm never recapturing on g7 mm -hmm. unless it's uh, on my terms. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a easy play here, especially in a rapid game. And here I thought, uh, well, it kind of looked uh, more or less natural, mm -hmm. what we were doing. I felt, okay, I'll recapture and I shouldn't be worse. Here I thought he would go knight f3, honestly. Right. I felt that this is this is a move, and I think it should be around equal. I felt like uh, no, I can take on g7 and let's say knight d4 and things like this. And uh, I mean, white is exposed with f4, therefore the end games are not better for him. Uh, I mean, if the pawn was on f2, mm -hmm. it would be a different story, of course, in many end games. Mm. Um, but he went knight f1, bishop h3. Uh, knight d2, and rook e6, I thought, it's not that I'm playing for a win, I just thought, all right, what's the biggie? Uh, why do I have to repeat the moves? Mm -hmm. My bishop is good on h3. And here I thought that uh, this should be fine for me. I was mainly considering king f2, and I thought queen c2. Mm, now queen c5 is impossible, I take an f3. Mm -hmm. So... I'm not sure about this position. I mean, uh, am I am I already better, or is it still balanced? I don't know. I have like queen eight two, and then check king g seven. You know, the queen has to uh, cover e three, so probably he'll have to drop down with the rook or something like that. So, yeah, I wasn't sure. And of course, uh, yeah, queen c five came as a very pleasant surprise because it loses on the spot. Yeah, a very surprising um, blunder, but um, yeah, congrats again on this game. Um, how would you evaluate your form throughout the tournament? I think I was playing pretty well, uh, you know, uh, not shying away from complications and just fighting. So I like, I like uh, uh, that uh, attitude oh, when, when I'm in a shape I normally the tournaments that, that I have won normally share the same pattern. I'm just fighting till the last bullet. So that's what I did today. And that's what I did throughout the tournament. 
All right. Last question for you. What will be your upcoming events? Where will you play next? I don't have too many events. Uh, I've lost so much rating, so I am uh, not invited anymore to to many events. But uh, you know, I have some online uh, events, and uh, well, hopefully, uh, I will uh, work and. Uh, gain some rating back and then be invited back so fair and square all right no i think all the all the fans would love to see you play uh again uh but congratulations and uh wish you the best of luck in the future thank you thanks guys back to you I have and, a question indeed not, not as we ready. say as we see chris bird being one of the first players to congratulate Levon Aronian. Uh, I understand, Anastasia, you did have a question for Levon. What would it have been? I would ask him what um, this victory means for his career. You know, he has won so many events. We, we discussed it before. So events, yes. what about this American Cup? What is special about this one? Just but a, we will ask next just time. Just another gold medal in the, in the cabinet for sure. And very impressive.